Right, shop rider mobility scooter came in basically for a quick repair. They've ripped out the buzzer basically from the circuit here. All right, so I've got a replacement bo buzzer off the internet, which looks like this, and I'm going to use the same housing. Uh, the wiring is the main thing here basically. Okay, so what's what? Right, okay, so the blue wire, which is mark under F, is the feedback wire. The black wire is ground and that's, that has a G marking and the red wire has got an M marking which is your positive. Now when you have a look at the back of this buzzer, how the wiring's done, just bear with me, I'll show you where the wiring's going on each terminal, just give me one set because it's just a bit of a pain, right, okay. So as you can see the red wire goes there, just about see the red. That's where it goes on the buzzer, okay? The ground is on the outer side. Okay, and the feedback, the blue wire is the central there. I'm sorry that they did. That's better, I think I'm gonna. Okay, so that's, that's, the, that's the feedback in the middle, basically. Ground is the outer one here, which is black. And as I repeat, the red one is this is the red terminal and it's working like magic so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take it off again shorten the length of the cable um and uh, put it back on all right so let me sort of show you how loud that is let's get the keys out that's loud very loud if you come across with issues like that just that's all you need to do guys okay so let me see how loud that is And that's loud that is friggin loud yep so that's how it should be so that's the diary the diagram i will leave a uh, when i upload the video i'll leave a diagram as well for you for you guys to see where the wirings are but that's how it's all done basically i will i will be putting a bit of uh, uh masking on it basically no just let me just stop this buzzing it's quite loud that uh, i will be putting some uh what do you call it the the uh the, the masking, PCB masking, just to prevent it from uh, rust and anything like this, basically. So I'll be doing that as the very last thing, but let me sort out the wiring first. I'm going to shorten the wire. Um, it's a self-drive. The, the, the one with the two uh, terminal wire is just a standard buzzer, but this is a self-drive uh, buzzer, basically. So, uh, piezo, p, piezo, piezo buzzer self-drive piezo piezo buzzer buzzer if i'm pronouncing it right but yeah that's that's that basically all right that's what i've used the conformal coating actually what i was referring to so that's been put on so even if rain gets to it it's not going to burn out the circuit um i've shortened the wire and now i'm going to use a bit of uh, uh bonding putty to try and put this around basically uh, but i'm going to just have to wait for that to cure probably about 20 minutes something like that for this uh, conformal coating to cure basically and then I'm going to move on to the next stage. So there you have it, this, this uh, stuff what I've used like a putty but it's not putty there's a name for it. I've got the package inside the house that's what, what I've used. Um, nice and solid, watertight, I'll be pressing it in a little bit more but let's do a test on it now. Um, keys Make sure that I've got the right set of keys here. I believe it's this one. Let's turn it on and see how loud it is. There we have it. Another strange behaviour. Uh, watch this, it's a piece of a little magnet. Watch how it increases. As you move it around. See that?
I'm going to stick that magnet on basically because that makes it louder. This is the stuff that I've used around the buzzer basically just to seal it. Um, pretty, pretty good stuff. You know, um, if you can apply a bit of heat, the uh, it, it just adheres better. Um, that's all the scooters to repair. I've got to tidy up my bench and uh, call up the customer to sort of uh, get this uh, collected. So that's all, guys. Have fun. Take care. Bye for now. And uh, peace.